Welcome back to another video of Sonic Villain's explanation. Today we will be explaining who Tails Doll is. And um this is gonna be an interesting one, so stay tuned. Okay. So there are two versions of this guy. A non-canon version and a canon version. Let's go over the non-canon version first as it is the most detailed one, if you will. So there is a creepy pasta slash uh, urban legend slash exe of this character. He is originally kind of like a metal Sonic, a metal Tails, if you will, but it's not metal. Tails never has gotten a metal Tails, um. So this is his doppelganger. Anyways, I'm getting off track. So, this is Tails' doppelganger, and it's just a robot on the inside, and on the outside, it's supposed to look like Tails, but, I mean, obviously very poorly made, but let's get into the non-canon stuff. So, this guy was in, in a few Archie comics as one of the v villains um, for Dr. Eggman that he recreated, um, I believe... In the comic, um, this guy was in, he recreated a, the, that Sonic Mania boss, um, and a few other guys. That's the, like, the comic version of this guy. Now let's get into the EXE slash fan-made stuff. Got, this guy was, ended up on a Sonic Wiki page, like a, creepypasta or exe wiki page and there was like a story where this um dad bought sonic r which was the game he was in i'll get to that in a little bit for the kids sega saturn which the game was on and um he put it for a little bit and then he looked at his kids game and realized that's a weird looking tails I mean, obviously, look at this thing. It's, mo it's a monstrosity. Um, but, anyways, when the dad told the kid to go to bed, and when his kid was asleep, he, gave, he decided to give the game a shot, and when he was playing as a uh, Tails doll, it started glitching, and glitching, and lagging, and then it just went black. So he just turned it off, and went to bed. And then, in the middle of the night, he heard knocking at his door repetitively, and he saw the silhouette of the Tails doll as a familiar, um, identification, you could call it. But, and then, um, the Tails doll whispers, um, I forget, uh, come play with me, or uh, be with me forever, I forget, some creepy shit. And there were many urban legends when this guy, his creepy pasta came out. Like, there was tons of urban legends. Like, oh, if you rewind one of the Sonic R OSTs backwards while sitting in your bathroom at 3 a.m., you will summon the Tails doll. I mean, that's an arcade craniac, uh, 3AM video, which is obviously a ripoff, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for his non-canon stuff. Now, let's get into the canon stuff. So, this was an original design by one of the, uh, co-workers for Sonic Adventure, and it was, like, uh, used as a bad nick, I believe, the Tails doll design. It was a little bit different than this, but, um, obviously Sega remodeled it because they hate everything. Um, <clears throat> but, he, um, he put the idea, um, and Sega loved it. They couldn't put it in Sonic Adventure because it was overdue and it was too late. So they put it in their um, next few games, well not all the games, but a few games later, they put this Tails doll on it as a, like um, 
like a doppelganger. Like in the game, there was a Metal Sonic on Metal Knuckles. So they just put a Tails doll in it as the idea as a doppelganger for Tails, which was a very good idea. I like this character. It's very interesting. Um, but there is a weird look to it. And the graphics of the game for the time that this came out were actually pretty good. But there were many complaints about this game of how it was difficult and frustrating to race each other. Obviously, in Sonic R, the game that he's in, it was um, a racing game, what the R stands for. And you race bots or, or your mutual friends. And, uh, um... To be honest, sounded like a pretty damn good game. I wish I could play it. I've seen many gameplays of it. It looks fun, but difficult. Because, like, there's so much drift in the game. But, I'm getting off track. Um, but yeah. There are two versions of this guy. An evil version, and a sort of positive version. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments about anything. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.